I have to do all the shares. Okay. Thank you, take Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, the Loose Mystics, for our two weekly, two monthly show. Fortnightly. Fortnightly. <laughs> our fortnightly show. We are super late tonight, so apologies for that, but never mind. I'm sure you won't mind. Um, okay, so we have the lovely Suzette with us. Hi, Suzette. <laughs> we have a delay. We have a delay. We also have the lovely Katie. Oh. We have the lovely Mandy. Oh. And we have the lovely Jim Jam. And we have me, who's not, not suitably dressed at all, winter football. <laughs> so, our topics for tonight that we're going to discuss, which you guys please join in uh, with, are um, trusting your gut, gut instinct. Signs and symbols from the spirit world. How do you process your negative thoughts and how staying strong while you're struggling? So we've got four different start subjects. So we're going to start off with um, trusting your gut, gut instincts. Do you trust your gut instincts? Do you even know what your gut instincts are? Have you learned to trust them? Have you kicked yourself afterwards for not trusting them? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't. We have to remember Suzette is there. <laughs> sure. So and you have to shout up, Suzette. You're going to have to shout yeah. if you want to be heard. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, gut instincts, guys. How do you feel about that then? Lost yeah. well, Okay. <laughs> so not allowed to talk. Suzette, about it, do just you? do that, Suzette. Do that when you want to talk. <laughs> I always yeah. feel when it comes to my instincts, I think I'm quite lucky. I do really a lot of my life is led very much. Is that okay. Um, and I felt uncomfortable and then been nervous about turning clients away, obviously, thinking, you know, working hard. And I've always been right. I should have turned them away and it's always been the wrong thing but yeah. I think sometimes when you have other things that come into play like financial worries and think can I afford to be turning clients away sometimes yeah. you worry what comes but now I'll be honest if I trust it I don't turn normally turn people away if I can get them in if that's happening I do but yeah I generally do that's when it will play havoc with me when life can get in the way of what you got playing sometimes yeah. can't it and your own personal wishes. Yeah. Because you know when you want something yeah. and your gut says to you, mm. like, and you just override it, don't yeah, you? With what, with what you want. Or if it's right, you know, like, I think... Feelings. Yeah. It's those first splits. It's it's not. Mm. It's only doing it on yours. Is that yeah? No. But, but my is it going on on the live feed as well? It's not doing. No, you would see it, wouldn't you? Mm. I don't know. Good evening, John. Good evening, Hi, Cheryl. John. Hi, Cheryl. Gemma, do you listen to your gut instinct? Um, more so now since I started working here. Um, but just before I started working here, I had my I started dating back in January last year, and the first guy that gave me attention, I thought, oh my god, you know, when you get, you know, it's the first guy in ages that I got attention from. But within probably 24 hours. I knew that he wasn't right for me. I just knew it. And I was so lucky that I did actually listen to my intuition because I kept getting this voice in my head, Gemma, this isn't going to last. This isn't right. There's something not right with him. And turns out that he was as psycho as wow. you. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it was lucky that because I hadn't let myself fall really hard because I'm quite quick at falling in love with people, but because I didn't let myself get there, it could have been a lot worse. And luckily, oh. because I wasn't there, I I was safe. I was all right. 
but it could have been a lot worse. And I'm so thankful that I listened to my gut. And then a few months later, I didn't listen to my intuition and then got my heart broken by, <laughs> by someone else. <laughs> yeah, but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. 50%. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I do listen to it a lot more. And I think because I'm opening up more spiritually now, I'm like, oh, get that feeling a little Definitely. bit more now. So, yeah, I, I love it. I really trust it now. And I'm like, oh, no, don't like it. No, see ya. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. I trust mine much more now than I've ever, ever, ever done. I think I literally, I would get that gut feeling and then just bury it. But it took me forever to even know what my gut feeling was. My head and my heart just... When you get older, you do begin to, with life experience yeah, does help you a bit as well. Definitely. I think it's trusting yourself as well. I think when you're younger, yeah. um, I know me definitely, if someone else has a gut instinct, I would think they would be more accurate with the mind. Yeah. But actually, they probably are accurate for them. So yeah. now I actually think, right, no, what... For me, if my instincts aren't feeling right with something, mm -hmm. I, I acknowledge... But yeah, that my that doesn't yeah. mean their instincts are wrong, but maybe they're on a different yeah. journey. I think for or... me, the last six, well, probably since lockdown, I think I've really worked on myself more and, yeah. and I understand it a lot more. What about you, Suzette? How's your gut instinct? You've got quite a good gut instinct, haven't you? Yeah, I've um, yeah, I really listen to mine, and I've learned to um, trust it. Um, bearing in mind, we were supposed to go to the states, Kate. And yeah, we were. Yeah. Kate? And I kept saying, yeah. oh, I don't know, don't feel it for some reason. Didn't really know why. I thought, oh, maybe San Fran because they had fires, but I just got instinct and you kept saying, are you going to hurry up and get the flights? But what flights are we going to get? Then I'm like thinking, oh, she's really not going to like me because I just don't feel that we should be going for whatever reason. And we were looking to fly out on the 23rd of April. So we would have lost everything mm. with COVID had we not. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we would have. We would have thought, yeah, just didn't feel it was the right time. But I didn't know why. I can't say I knew why. I just knew it just didn't feel right. But it wasn't, when I thought about it, it wasn't about who I was working with. It was just about going there. Yeah, I'd been there before. So saved us a lot of money, Kate, didn't it? And I remember my gut feeling thinking, I know you're right. Definitely. I remember my gut feeling thinking, I know you're right, but I so want to go. I'm just not going <laughs> to And that's what I normally like. That's what I normally like. No, fuck it. I'm just, I still want it. So I'm going to go for it. But I knew deep down that, yeah, you're right. And yeah, and dead right. And then I was like, I need to listen to that. Can't remember why, but there was something else that you'd done the year before that ended up being good you know it was right and I was like I need to listen to Suzette I need to step back shut up get off my control freak house and and yeah and then it worked I listened to Why is it, you because you're doing the mediumship Suzette <laughs> is there ever a contradiction between your instinct and spirit does anything ever get um mixed up because our instincts are different than psychic aren't they does yeah, that do, um, do I, am I making yeah. any sense yeah, um, no, if each I, other more, do you think? It's, it's different, isn't it? It's you. Yeah. Where spirits. Yeah. Yeah. If I get a gut Hello? instinct, I will. If I get a gut instinct, I'll feel it. I'll, I will feel it, and it will be an overwhelming feeling of something. But if it's something from the spirit world, it's more in my mind. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. Just wonder because there is a diff it's, yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Their mom's gut instinct normally is when I don't feel nothing. Which I know it sounds a bit weird, but say, like, business, I'm going yeah. to a party next oh, week. I just and that, I need yeah. to get a new dress. Part of me just doesn't kind of get that thing to go yeah. and do it. And yeah. it's not a thing called the party's not going to happen. No, and then I understand it's that. It's, a neg it's a, something that's missing that's driving me to do whatever. Yeah. That's not, yeah. not, not pushing me on. It's almost, I want to say it's even holding me back, but I feel no compulsion to go and do what yeah. it is I need yeah. to yeah. do. What I were we talking about earlier yeah. before we went live? No compulsion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, about um, viewers? <laughs> what about any of you? <laughs> So how do you deal with, do you have a good gut instinct, guys? Do you <coughs> listen to your gut instinct or have you been bitten the bum by your gut instinct? Have you not listened and then thought, oh, I wish I did. That went wrong or, or whatever. Let us know um, what, your, what your thoughts are.
on that. What about you, Gem? I mean, you just said about that. When you don't listen, you just end up causing yourself more pain and grief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. You yeah. just end up putting yourself through something you didn't need to. I have to be careful with mine because I have massive trust issues. So it takes me a while to trust someone. And it's not so much with friends or anything like that, but if I'm dating, Some bad thing, I need to, thing, I've got yeah. trust issues, but then I need to or am I holding back because of my gut? You obviously so know. So I'm trying to. By what you're saying, you, yeah. obviously, you obviously do know. Yeah, trying to um, like, yeah. but I think most of the time it is my gut. And if I, you kind of know when you feel something straight away and you're like, oh, this is good, this is just flowing, this is nice, it's easy. And then when it's not easy and it works, that's when I'm like, this is, this is it, no. I've got to go. It can be painful. <laughs> when my Charlotte was a it's sorry, Kate. That's right. When my Charlotte was a little girl, I had really I don't know if it's maternal gut instincts with situations and it was so strong I could feel it and I had massive fear for her. But I did have to learn that might be my instincts, but I still have no control. Yeah. So I, my biggest learning thing was that that was my instincts, but my instincts weren't about making it stop. I had no control yeah. to make it stop. Yeah. My instincts were about being in there for her mm -hmm. when this happens but having a heads up yeah but my, as an Aries I was like that ain't happening I'm going to sort this out um, but yeah so that was a massive learning curve but your instincts aren't always like yeah. able to stop make mm -hmm. a change they can just be a little heads, heads up sometimes though, it's got instincts if it's not a big thing it's quite easy to override it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so it's not yeah, like the internal yeah. maternal yeah. instinct or anything got easy yeah. to it nah because I use yeah. America I want to do it yeah, 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 yeah. Quite easy. I would have done it. Yeah. We would have yeah. lost an awful lot. It's of very money, easy yeah. to override. If yeah. You really want what I think yeah. um, you, you just know deep, deep, deep down, don't you? Yeah. But sometimes, yeah. 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 But sometimes you're like, mm, I'm just going to test the waters mm -hmm. anyway, and then like, ah, oh, okay, maybe I should have listened to my gut. Yeah, there. But some, I mean, sometimes I've um, I've not listened to my gut feel. I've listened to my gut feeling, and then. It's not quite worked out in the same way that I thought. Anyway, yeah, it's, taken, yeah. it's taken a different spin mm. from it, and I thought, oh, I knew something was going to come, but I didn't know that. Was yeah, gonna happen. yeah. It's um, yeah, it's a little weird. Well, what I was going to say when we were looking at the astrology yesterday, you had Aries, and Aries Mars. and Mars in your seventh, seventh house. Yeah, because we were talking about relationships and how she oh. can get over them like that. Mm. Right. And and I was like, that's now we know why. Because yeah. if you've got two fast planets in yeah, your relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. why you can yeah. get in quick and get so out. If you've got a slow yeah. planet, then you're going to be hurt for yeah. a long time. That would be, that'd be, be a long time. That'd be me. It. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just like that. Like that's so yeah. so that, is that the ones like Pluto, Uriner? Ur Ur <laughs> so I think Ur that's the difference. I think, so um, with um, you know, that might be the easy in and out. Probably that's the difference of having a bit of staying power. So I think I'm not the most. I take people on, but it takes. But before I really show myself or I'm comfortable yeah. with something, and when we're talking about trust, mm -hmm. I can let that trust grow. But in the beginning, you might not know. But I'm thinking, checking that, like you know, you're checking them out. Yeah, it takes me. I have very few really mm -hmm. good like friends, but the ones I've got, I have for years. Yeah, I don't have many. People don't because it takes me ages you know. to to really take people yeah. on board. I think. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I'm I'm terrible at um oh, judgment. Jordan, I know. <laughs> I'm terrible at judgment. The amount of people I'm like, oh, they're really nice. They're so really what planet nice. in what house is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm judging. I don't know. House eleven, I think. Really. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah, they're really nice, and then they turn out to be complete assholes. Like, yeah, I'm not a good ah, judge of character. See, there's one people only in my life can I say that there's ever been two people that I've just the minute I've met them, I've just thought. No, 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 no. And they and there's one time, Judas. Huh? There's one Judas. Is that a third one? <laughs> <laughs> third one. This one woman, and she was like, I worked with her, and she ended up being like a bit of a psycho, bit mm. of a, a total mm. sort of like weirdo. But to everyone else, she was really nice. And everyone's coming up some matter again. I just mm. said, I don't know, there's just something something Funny about so is that, that what about you? What are oh, you yeah, good with Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Susan. Are you good at judgment, <laughs> judging <laughs> people? Um, I kind of, of um, there's been um, yes and no. So um, sometimes I've over, I've overridden what my sort of initial gut instinct is, just on the basis of 
um, sort of how they are with other people, but I've always had it. And when I've looked back on it, that's when I've learned and I thought, so for me, if I, if I, if there's something not quite right with somebody, if somebody's doing something wrong, I find it very hard to make eye contact with them. I, I feel an energy that's really uncomfortable, okay? And I'll find it really hard to make eye contact with them. And this is what I've learned for the people that have been quite wrong in what they've done with things. Um, so, for instance, Kate, there was a medium that I used to work with. Um, really mm. wasn't great. And I find I found it when I look back and with some other people, I found it really hard to make eye contact with them because I just couldn't. Yeah, I would be fine with them, but then when I had to almost look soul to soul, it was like, whoa, that is that doesn't sit right with me. But I would I didn't know why until the proverbial hits the fan. And then I think, all right, that's why. <laughs> so but I've learned if I get that feeling now. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, yeah so, sometimes it's through mean, absolutely you've got a i've i've you know been bitten a lot of times um but yeah you learn through well i've learned through experience totally yeah yeah mine is i don't want to rock the boat so i don't listen to my gut instinct initially because yeah. i don't want to rock the boat i just I'm, i don't like change of things so, and then when it happens, I'm like, yeah, if I'd have listened to my gut instinct, it wouldn't have been half as bad um, of that. And let's just say a few hellos. Hello, Busy Bee. Hello, Sue. Hi, Hel Helema. Good evening, Diane. Good evening, Corey. We've said hello to John. They're all there. Um, okay, so... We will be doing readings later on this evening, guys. So stay with us because we will be doing readings. For those that have commented and shared, let us know that you're sharing the page. Do comment and we will um, be doing some live readings in a little while. So let's just move on to our next subject, our next topic, um, symbols and signs from spirit. So what do you have as your symbols and signs? And guys, let us know. From spirit. So for me, <laughs> so for me, um, I know when I connect with my guide because I have a tingling feeling, like someone's gently, like stroking my head, sort of, but very gently. You know, when it's just catching a few hairs. Um, and then when Depends I'm working with them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I'm working with them, I feel that for the whole time that I'm working. So when I do the development with Kate. I have that for the whole evening it doesn't go away at all yeah i know it's, it's really my first couple of times it freaked me in hell out and i was like no and now i like play a little game i'm like take it away bring it back, take it away. <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> Good plan, yeah it's amazing so that's my main <laughs> symbol um and uh, mine is also a robin um is a symbol from spirit because when my mum was ill and we were praying and sending healing and doing all that. When she was better and we started going for walks, every walk without fail, there would be a robin that crossed our path. So that to me is, that was my sign. That was them confirming that yeah. everything I'd asked for, every all the healing that was sent yeah. is what made her yeah. get through. So yeah, it's, that for me is, it's always a robin. So whenever I see one, I'm like, boy, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I am. Um, have coins, I have different coins for different things. So so I won't share what they are because that's my little power. But different coins for different things. And I think, oh yeah, thank you. That's that I know what that means. And I love it. And I that's have amazing. feathers, always white feathers are a nice little yeah. yeah. For me, white feathers are about um stepping on I'm on the right track. Yeah. When I see white feather, it's not like yeah, the spirit or the nan or whatever, it's about it's about I'm on the right track there. Mm. So I like to make my own little things of different mean different. and different coloured feathers. So I know if I yeah. see a black feather, I know that there's gonna be some change. If I see a grey feather, I know that things are just kind of oh, a little bit muggy at the mm -hmm. moment. But if I see a white feather, it's like, yeah, you're all right now. Yeah. So I've little. I've never seen a rainbow feather. I wonder what that's been. Mm. But um, I like having different symbols. Hot different green. <laughs> what, what about what about you guys? What about our viewers? What, what do you um? What do you have? Hi, Chloe. 
Okay, what do you have? What's, um, I have, I think the thing to me is butterflies and different colours have different things. So if it's all got white ones, I'm hectic. So when white ones come, they like telling me to chill for me. And then the black and orange one, I was thinking of man. And the green is about um, getting me sort of grounded again. Mm -hmm. I know it should be red, but I always do green because I'm so red. Anyway, um, I think like that. And then also, if I've got loved ones, I have special things that I relate to the people that have gone and are in spirit. Um, they're quite specific to that person. Yeah, yeah. And if I see them, I think, oh, hi. You know? yeah. um, but definitely, I had to learn from a young age the difference between my nerves. My, I get a real nervy feeling that frightens me when spirit's about to arrive. So I've had to work out that that, that feel, what that feeling is. And that's why I have to be going back to the instincts. At first, of course, something bad can happen because yeah. it would be a similar sort of thing. But actually, it would just be someone say, one of the loved ones being there to say yeah. hi. But when you're younger, it's an unusual yeah. feeling, isn't it? And um, that was a bit of one for me to work out for myself, to be honest. It's nice when you work things out yourself. Yeah. And really. a lot of people, especially in our development, are like, what does this mean? What does that mean? And I'm like, well, you need to work it out. You need to go yeah. sit with your, your guide. You need to work it out yourself. Like a dream book, it's got everything in it, mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily mean it's correct for you. So mm -hmm. I always go with dreams how I feel. And I analyse it by my feeling when I wake up. Do I feel good in that bit? Do I feel bad? I just take that little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, do I feel scared? Mm -hmm. Do I overcome that? Whatever it is. Like, rather than analysing the whole the whole dream. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, snails, I could be sm yeah. Uh, sm sorry. Sorry. Chloe, I've lost my sister, brother and granddad all in a year and still, and, and yet still to get feature. It, subtle signs and there's, yeah, some, you know, there's no when time or, or what, Chloe. Um, but you might, sometimes you can be looking too much as well. You can want it too much and be looking over too much. Overlooking um, it. There's a bit of an echo on your end of the feed. Oh, is that? Oh, oh. oh okay. We, we don't hear that. We haven't got that. Certain smells, Sue says. Certain smells. Um, Diane says, when I connect with spirit, I feel a slight vibration of energy within my body. And that's exactly it. That feeling mm. is is the... Uh, Suzette, you'll, you'll do this better than me. It's your uh, aura, isn't it? Vibrating. That's what you're picking up and the atmospheric change around you um for, yeah well for yeah. me it's, it's it's that energy that blends so when it comes near um yeah it's like somebody standing in your personal space so you kind of know almost like somebody walking up behind you and you think i know they're there but it's just letting that energy blend so but everybody because their energy is different so the, some will feel it like Haley, like that that excitement, that quickening of energy, yeah. So that quickening. Yeah. Some people will will get it where it's it, they'll actually hear the energy as well. So almost like a buzzing in their ears, so they know. So for me, I found over the years and teaching, a lot of people will get they'll they'll experience it in a in their own different way. And there's lots of different ways, but the one thing is, it's not <laughs> how they usually. So that's the difference. So if you're not how you usually are and you're trying to work the spirit world or do whatever, then you're feeling that energy come in. Chloe says, I've had dreams with them though, though, and they are so real and they are asking what happened and what went wrong and showing me their that all everyone's different there. So it could be visitation dreams. Could be visitation dreams. John says he gets filled with electric. Lucky you, John. Something comes to me the other day when people have newly gone over. Sometimes I wonder when people, you know, when you're wanting to feel spirit when they have passed and you're really wanting them. I've had that with my nan, I, and you think, oh, I'm not feeling her. And then sometimes I think, is it because her energy is so familiar? Mm. that actually you stop feeling them because mm. they're around all the time anyway mm. and it just crossed, yeah. uh, crossed mm. my mind that you 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 it's when it's a new energy you're going to feel it more mm. yeah. but if they're just with you that i'm feeling with me yeah yeah as yeah. i'm saying it yeah. they're with you anyway so you don't feel that and Absolutely. actually as i'm talking about it look look at that yeah okay now she's like yeah so yeah so that's why you think yeah. you're <laughs> they're with you all the time yeah yeah, yeah. definitely amazing definitely yeah 
Wow. I, I would say that. <laughs> what about you, man? What do you get filled with electricity? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you songs? Are you songs? Yeah. And the, the title of the song normally means something. Oh. In my head, it just pops. Oh, I was thinking head. things come without, 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 without like listening to it or hearing it on the radio. It's on that day. A song will come into my head and it won't go away. So no. I have to think about what the title of the song is. Mm. Right, right. When you word, the word, the word, and you had to yeah, find out that yeah. song because I just heard it in my yeah. head. But last time I don't bother thinking about what it means. <laughs> yeah. It's just like you so you're not listening, are you? No, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not at all. No, you can ask. So you can ask for some guidance, for example, and then put the radio on, see what songs are playing. And you might find that certain sentences in the song Songs. really resonate, mm -hmm. or like yeah. a book. Instead of you know, obviously a tarot card or angel card, but you could get a book and just open it, and there will be out of a whole page, there might be some certain words that just jump out at you, and you go, "That's it. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's mm -hmm. what the message is." But um, I'm wondering if anyone's got any unusual symbols or signs. What What's your symbol, Suzette, or sign? Um, I don't, I'm a bit like Hayley actually, so it's, if there's, um, there's different things that will turn up that I know are to, for specific people, um, so, um, so I don't have a generic one, so I don't do feathers, um, anything like that, because I live in the countryside, so I get up in the morning and someone's killed a pigeon, so I don't know what I'd make of that spiritually, it would be everywhere, um, so I'm a bit like some, some, something will just catch my eye or will be in a place that it isn't usually, but it would represent somebody and my thoughts would just go to that person. It's different for everyone, isn't it? It is different. What about our viewers? So what's your signs, guys? What signs do you have? Anybody going to let us know? A couple of people asked for readings. Yep, join in the chit chat. Give us some feedback on... The questions and then you can be um and emma good evening thank you for sharing if you also as well as sharing you need to join in the chit chat so let us know what your symbol or spirit signs are john you get filled with electric but do you um do you have any other signs do you have any other things or do you just like no all oh, spirits around what about your wife, John? Do you have a little symbol or sign when you know you, you've got the energy of your wife around? Or do you just know that she's automatically around so you don't, like Hayley says, it's, you just know, mm -hmm. you just know. I'll tell yeah. you a little bit of a nuts one. Well, my shows out really, yeah? When Dan first um, passed away, he loved Dad's army, okay? So I'm sitting there watching the TV and it kept changing over. And honestly, it changed over to Dad's army. I left it <laughs> on, on, on gold. I sat there, left it on eight hours because I think Margate going to let him watch it. So I left uh. Dad's army on for these eight, eight hours because I thought I can't turn it off. Oh. But it's like, actually, it's it for me. Mm. That's an unusual way. But yeah. I, thought, I just turned it off. Wow. I thought, I carried on doing my bits, go and watch Dad's army. I was like, don't watch Dad's army. <laughs> 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 but you can watch it. Yeah. But it's little weird things like that that, mm. that I think it's very personal sometimes Absolutely, not everything's yeah. random it's sometimes it's yeah. actually that's just weird of all, like, of all the things to turn over keep turning over to yeah yeah chloe says i've had a few times recently people coming over to me saying they know me but don't know how or where i have no idea who they are so it happens to me all the time people walk past this shop every single day <laughs> hi kate I'm like, hi. <laughs> and then Gemma's like, you don't know who that is, do you? <laughs> you know, David Powell says that that person could have been famous in a previous life. So loads of people know them or think they know them. And when they got to him, I don't know you, don't know who you are. Do you know what I mean? But it's because that person in a previous yeah, life is famous. Yeah. And that, that person mm. thinks they know them. Oh, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah. when they didn't lives before, they might be yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you look at someone and think, you look really familiar. Or yeah. And they don't. It's because you Maybe I was famous in the past life. Yeah, you're saying that they know you. I mean, maybe just yeah, they, they know her or must just know her. Say hello. Don't know. Chloe says they know her, but don't know how or where, and no idea. Yeah, yeah. see, she was famous yeah, in a maybe as well. He was famous. He was, in he was clear petrol. Yeah, not, <laughs> not quite that famous. <laughs> um, my mum and dad and my sister holding a box. Uh, things get moved. Sue says things mm. get moved in in her That's home. Oh, yeah, that, that would annoy me. Yeah, that would that really would annoy me. There. Yeah. Um, busy. Yeah. <laughs> busy B says uh, I see faces. I have a lot of people say, Sue, what would you say when people say they see faces? 
Because you mean um, it's just like part, floor and floor and it's part of their clairvoyance, and it's just the way that they're able to see the spirit world. Um, so working clairvoyantly, sometimes a lot of people, when they sort of in semi dream state, see faces come in like that. So um, I don't know, busy if you are working um, and developing, or even work as a medium. Um, but um, yeah, a lot of people see um, actual faces. It's, it's just how they work. It's just what what they what they do. Can I ask Chloe? You know when she was saying about her fret um, with a box. Yeah, I'll be wondering what they mean by the box. Is the box a gift? Or are they saying something needs to be or oh, open down it, open it, open it, yeah. something need to be exposed? Mm -hmm. Um to me, I would think about what that box represents to you. I don't you would know mm -hmm. this because it's, it means different things. It could mean a gift. I'm getting a feeling that like I'm just as I've as I read that, I was getting a feeling like something needs to be let out the box, something needs to be brought brought out. Mm -hmm. Um but I would be thinking what that box that they're are they giving it to you? Are they wanting it? And I'd have to think about what that box is representing yeah mm. yeah i just was drawn to that mm. i see faces in things like well that's, that's what diana's got, like, said. The, like the actual like liner in my bathroom when i like look at it i see different faces and different things i see dogs I see, but they all it changes all the time yeah. so because it's like a not a marbly pattern but it's that random yeah, yeah. sort of thing but they will literally pop right out so diana's like, i see faces in the patterns on walls like yeah that, like, that's it. yeah yeah well, I think um, that's what Suzette was saying. Crazy. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think that's what Suzette was saying about um, your clairvoyance working mm. in a different way. Mm. There, is that right, Suzette? Yeah, yeah. It's just your abilities that you you do it in a different way. <laughs> On the bathroom floor, using. Andy. Yeah, I won't tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 no. I haven't got cleaning my glasses it, on. It. Right? I haven't got my glasses on, and and Diane's put some. I sometimes. Get, oh, I read it the same as you. <laughs> I, I didn't see it. <laughs> so I many, don't need glasses. On. I sometimes get smells. I sometimes get smells, but only with family. Oh, I <laughs> made <made> it. <laughs> but I read it the same as you. <laughs> yeah, family. We're family, family, family members, members. <laughs> not family members. <laughs> family members. I sometimes get smart. Yeah, family members. That yeah. Um, Claire uh, or Claire Augustus, isn't it, Suzette? When you can smell. Yeah. It's like delay. Can smell. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Can you hear busy me? Busy bee, Bernadine. Yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. Bernadine. Um, I'm busy bee. You just said you're Bernadine. I know you are now. Um, I've been out out of it for some time. I can't read that. Let me put it up on the big screen. I've been out of it for some time, and I see a lot of things in my dreams where they come true, premonitions. I go up to people and tell them something. I don't even know this person. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I, that's not something I would do. I wouldn't go up to random strangers and say, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if that's no. what you do, it's not something I would encourage people to do, to be fair. Because you don't know what situation mm -hmm. that person is in. Mm -hmm. You don't know if they're a believer or if they're grieving. You don't know. So I think personally, it's best to wait to be asked. But um, you know, it, it, horses for courses. But um, premonitions and dream is is quite um, common, isn't it? In things. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I tend. I used to have premonitions when I very first got on the spiritual pathway. So it's about twenty four, yeah, twenty five, something like that. No, I was a bit older, about 26, 27. <clears throat> and I would see disasters all the time. So I remember seeing a McLevoyance, a train crash, and then the next day, opening the paper, and there was a train re derailed, exactly how oh. I saw it. And something else had happened. But I would say to people, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that, that was going to happen. And no one believed me because I'd said it afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then I saw a vision of a red van crashing. So I said, right, I've just seen a red van crashing. So when it happens, I've already told you. Well, I forgot about it. And within a couple of weeks, uh, with myself, my ex-husband, and and four of our friends, we all moved to Spain, and we drove there, and we had a red, white, and blue van each. Can't remember which one we were. I think we were in the white one, uh, but our friend Tony and Kat were in the red van, and we got to Madrid, and they crashed, and the van went over, and everyone's panicking, and I'm like, I told you, <laughs> and it stopped. After that, it was almost like spirit 
wanted me to acknowledge them. So if they yeah. gave me something nice and fluffy, I wouldn't have not acknowledged it. Yeah. So they had to give me horrible things for me to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. Then once I acknowledged it, that was the last bad wow. thing. After that, I was like, I believe you now. Okay, I yeah. know I can do it. I had it when I was little, but not when I grew up. Strange, isn't that? Yeah. Like I, I did something wrong. I got sent to bed, <laughs> and, I, and I remember <laughs> praying and saying. This is gonna happen. Like my mom's gonna come. She's gonna say this. Then this is gonna happen. Then something else is gonna happen. And then about half hour later, it happened exactly as I imagined. And she said the words that I knew she was gonna wow. say and things like that. But that only happened a few times. But I was about. So you've got a little bit of deja vu, mind. haven't you? Yeah. Deja probably. vu can be that as well. Yeah. yeah. They says to me, "Oh, mum, I've just had deja vu." Yeah, I'll do that a few times. Yeah. yeah. I had that with you had the that nails. Day. Yeah. 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 And for me, deja vu, and it, it's gonna be different for everyone. But for me, deja vu is letting you know that you're on the right pathway. Like you're remembering your part, what you've chosen from spirit. Oh. You're all, all of a sudden remembering mm. it. So that's why it's coming back. So it lets me know I'm in the right space. Oh, that's right interesting. Right. I think that's my interpretation. Mm. But because I'm a control freak, I've learned how to control it. So I can I be like. I stop it sometimes. I'm thinking, yeah. I'm just yeah. like, yeah. looking around for clues. I can be like, well, I know that that's going to happen. So I'm going to do something different just for the sake of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What, Suzette, what's your take on deja vu? Um, Anyone else have I'm deja vu? Quite, yeah, I'm, I'm a quite logical. Sometimes you can just slip a second. Um, and but sometimes when you feel that you've been somewhere before and it's more than just hearing it it's almost as if because if you think about the spirit world their time isn't linear so who's to say that you hadn't yeah. previously been in you know not in dream state but there so you hadn't previously been there and just come back so i don't know i'm kind of open to um you know other people's views on what it is i don't shut down on anything with it i think okay could be that could be that yeah i think there are different takes on it mm. um another few guys asking for readings you have to interact with us guys if you want to read and you have to join in the conversation and share the post um chloe wish spirits would remind me to take my bags in the supermarket with save me a fortune <laughs> yeah. oh, no. i'm one of them i'd come back with like all my tins, all my cans, carrying everything. I'm not, I'm not paying 10p for a bag <laughs> because I've got five bags here that I've forgotten. I'm not paying 10p. I'm taking it. I'm holding it all. I'm going to prove a point. I'm going to prove a point. point. I'm going to prove a 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 point. Sue. Take the boys off and not put the mask on, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, what? Sue, like one dream is about monsters and you could only kill them with pancake batter. <laughs> I like that. That's random. <laughs> I have mental dreams. You like, have crazy dreams. Crazy, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, I stand there and I'm like, you should direct that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I wake up and like, what the fuck is that about? Yeah. But as soon as I start processing it, and I know what it means. So the last few nights, I've had dreams about being on a boat where it's almost overturning and I'm holding onto the side. So when I woke up in that dream, I was like, okay, so what does that mean? Boat, I'm in control, I'm holding it and it's all rocky. So that means I'm gonna go through a rocky patch, but I'm in control, so I didn't, didn't fall off. Mm -hmm. I stayed on it. Then I dreamt about merry rounds and fairground. Same thing, they were all toppling turning, but I was holding on for dear life and I managed to stay. Forget last night's one. Oh. But it's a war, yeah. and it was everyone against you, and you were yeah. all going into war. Yeah, everyone against wow. us. And I had a partner, and and it was us four against the world. And then the dad of the partner was being shot in the head, but somebody was also decapitated in the head. So there was some. Yeah. Oh. So I, I was. Oh, I know what it, at the end part of it, and this is how I, I work with oh, dreams. Yeah. I don't analyze the whole lot. But the end part was me and the kids were like going into a silhouette and I wasn't aware whether my partner was still there or being killed. And actually in the dream, I was like, we, we just going and not knowing, but we felt at peace with not knowing. We were like just going and in silhouette. And I, so I know that look, we're just going to win this. We're just going to yeah, be all yeah, right. We're going to get through it. We're yeah, going to yeah. get through it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter where it's going because mm -hmm. we're going to be all right. So that's how I interpret dreams is 
it's like dissecting it like what, what, feeling, what feeling you're left yeah. with yeah mm. do you reckon it's spirit sending the message or it's your subconscious mind about to, uh I'll kind of processing you what you're going both. through you know like sometimes you need to process it I think, both, I think your daily stuff if you can't and deal with that emotionally I think then logic spirit will or your guy, I think, will probably manipulate it in a way you can understand it. Mm. Otherwise, although my dreams are quite freaky. What do you think, Suzette? Do you think dreams are have got a touch of spirit, or do you think they are your own subconscious, pure subconscious? Um, I thought. Geez, well, <laughs> well Sue said I <laughs> wet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Weird dreams, and I wake up and think, "Wow, sorry, Sue." <laughs> I really should get my glasses on. Yes. <laughs> um, Sorry, yeah, no, we have <laughs> Suzette, say that again. I said we have to um, download subconsciously because everything you take on board every day you can't carry around with you or your brain will be an overload. So mm -hmm. those really weird, wow dreams are usually – a load of subconscious just having a download in the REM sleep state but mm. um for me I have a lot of um times where in dream state I will um have that's when I'll visit the spirit that's when I have my visitations or I yeah. work with them so I always know because if I've had a weird wacky dream I'll wake up and think god that was weird and I'll remember it but then half an hour later I forgot it if I've had a dream where I've met somebody or done something in spirit state, I will remember it for the rest of time. I will still recall dreams from years ago right to the precise moment. But if it's yeah. a download, I will never remember. So that's the difference. I know the difference kind yeah, of like that for me. Yeah. I wonder if I'm just having downloads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Processing maybe. all the yeah. stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't have weird dreams because I control all my dreams. Yeah, I can That's control them. I've, yeah, I've, 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 I've never had a nightmare. I've never had a dream. Really? I don't like me years ago. Oh, God, last night, I had like three nightmares on the trot last night. Oh, um, but I can control lucid dreaming. When yeah, I do state. that. Oh, and, do that. and again, Just more spiritually open up because yeah. I'm doing more lucid dreaming which i love i love lucid dreaming. yeah because you just it's just like oh i'm gonna have that world, man in my head <laughs> yeah. 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 it's a fantasy world you want to live in it's there isn't it i remember the first time that i did it and i put my hand through a wall <laughs> to make yeah. sure that and i'm like if i'm maybe dreaming my right hand could go that. through the wall <laughs> <laughs> maybe i was right soon i had one dream where i was having sex with a ghost but not sure it was a dream <laughs> oh <laughs> I have no oh, words. I don't know how oh. I feel about that. I have no words, Sue. Suzette, <laughs> over to you. Wow. If she says that, um, no, I'm not the usual. Yeah, um, right. I'm sure it's all the dreams, Sue. Um, <laughs> I don't think you come back for sexual <laughs> graphication. <laughs> Poorly, no. <laughs> my dreams are strange too if it's about a person i can't get to them same as a building or shopping i can never get close to what i'm after for me i mean when you dream about other people in your dream it's part of you it's a reflection of you so it might be that there's a part of you that you can't get to or that you're frightened there's a fear there about either letting yourself go and uh, being totally open being totally this is who i am um, there's something in that, but I can't quite put it into words there for me. What about you guys? Going back to the sex of the ghost. It's a little bit like, do you think it's about calling for ghosts for years and years? years. It's like, does, does it, it, to me, that's like somebody who <laughs> feels like they're almost getting where they want to go and they can never quite it's get like there. It's like a block. Yeah. It's like yeah. maybe, yeah. I don't know, there's a house that you want and it's the dream house and you've got to quite get there, but you can't quite get there. There's a person and you can't quite get there. So like you're almost on the edge of always not quite having everything you want, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. So we've kind of gone off our subject. Oh, it's then. dreams. It's ended up dreams, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> it was very good as well as very sensual. Ooh. There was a film, honestly, this woman in America. She was, raced, wasn't it? She was competing. Continually raped by a ghost. Yeah, I did like over that. years and years. And oh, yeah, that, that scared me. That, that was that when I was a little girl, and that scared me for years and years it and years. It was an old film, wasn't it, about the end of the eighties? Yeah, oh, 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 no, it was called the end. Entity. That's the one. Entity, not the Hamilton Bill. Entity. The entity. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
No, they're boobies. So these like it look, look like yeah, it's someone's face. They just have seen the human, weren't they? Is they're it based on a real thing? Yeah, they say. They say. That's what this woman said. I'm out. I'll see you later. I'm not sure. People set up things in the room to try to see, and they they and they try they did they put all this like smoking, and you could see this sort of shape. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how much of it was real. My five year old will sleep walk. Sleepwalk and talk to someone. Oh, yeah, man. I remember um, when I was younger sleepwalking, and and I remember I can't remember which boy it was. It was I can't remember which one. Josh and Wally. I think it was Josh. He did quite a bit of sleepwalking. But Josh used to talk about his different mum. He would talk about um, being here before and having a different mum. And there was yeah. ten of them, and they all ate spiders. They lived in the mountains, and then all his brothers died, and he was the only one. And we would go to places and he'd be like, been here with my different mum. Mum, been here, I went there, I went down that road with my different mum. And it was and around the same thinking. time that Madeline McCann went missing. So we we're on a bus and he's going, yeah, mum, I've been there with my different mum. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember thinking, Shh. and it got so bad, he talked about it all the time. I had to go and see his teachers oh, and say, like, what's yeah. going on at school. But he can't remember any of it. As soon as he got to five or six at uh, Court Lane, he, remember, he did it at infants. He lost it, he forgot it, can't, and now he oh, can't remember. Right. But wow. he, he was really, yeah, really. And when I lost one of the, when I had one of the miscarriages, he didn't even know, he was about 18 months, he didn't even know I was pregnant. And um, I was only a few weeks. And he just turned over to the corner of the room and he went, bye bye, baby. And then that oh. day, I miscarried. And he wouldn't even, he didn't even know. Oh, that yeah. really is So crazy. he really has. He's but got the gift, hasn't he? He's definitely got it, definitely. My brother used to do really similar. He used to, say, he used to say to my mum, when I was your dad, I didn't. Really? I didn't tell you off when I was your dad. Really? And then he used to say to like to me when I was your dad. So obviously, mum and I might have been sisters because he go when I was your dad. I, I was nice to you. And then he used to talk about being in a war. Really? Um, and he had, obviously he was born with birth defect. He used to talk about um, having his foot trapped. My mum told me really quite specific. Wow. Does he remember it now? No. No. Yeah. Do you remember it? He used to say he was married to a lady them. called Lorraine Susan Howe. <gasps> Just look her up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then years and then years later, um, when he had a baby, he wanted to call it the rain, but forgot like wow. Oh, you have to Google that. Yeah. Google, yeah. Google that. We should, should we actually? Yeah. <clears throat> My granddaughter, when she was four, she looked at the streetlights and said they used to be gas. Wow. Oh wow. Oh, we're moving into past life yeah, things. We're moving like into that. past Ooh. life things. Those that are asking for reading, yes, we are, but you have to. Join in with the chit chat to get a reading, and we're kind of moving into the reading stage. We did have another two topics, but actually we've, we've <laughs> yeah, gone on and on. Strange. So shall we do a few little readings? But um, those guys <coughs> are reading, share something, share something, okay? Not, not just the champagne. Now I've left all my cards in the other room. <laughs> so unorganised. <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. Got my fat in the <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to shut up now, Kate's gone. <laughs> oh, she don't get a word in. <laughs> I remember having a dream when I was little that just uh, every night for like about two weeks, same dream, same dream. It's weird, time, isn't it? Repeated all the time. And it was someone did dissect it with someone chopping out a body. And I was like, oh, was that feeling there? Was that, it was horrible. It was a bad feeling. Yeah. I kept waking up for it and told shut my eyes in the same dream, but it oh. went on for like night after night after night oh. for like ages, which was really kind of like. Yeah, best, especially mm. if he was only nine. Yeah, and then when I went, and I went to get out one night and I looked down the hallway and I saw some shed and they bent over so killing someone. So I don't know if someone mm. died in our house that I lived in when I was a kid. Just right, you're going to do some cards. Oh yeah, I've got those psychic abilities. So anyway. <laughs> recently, uh, you know, about so that's a month ago. So three months ago, I was having reoccurring two to three months ago reoccurring dreams. Yeah, horrible reoccurring about, ones. Exes, about my ex, and I was going back. Yeah, going back to my ex. Not my ex-husband, but this an ex-boyfriend, and I was like, "Why? Why am I keep dreaming about going back?" And now, with events that have happened, I'm like, "Oh, there was must have been pro somewhere with similar energy, yeah, yeah, similar yeah. um, feeling going on." But I do love, I do love um, some crazy dreams. Anyone else had some crazy, crazy dreams? Um, I sometimes, oh, let me get that up, Donna. I sometimes hear my mum talking in my head, but I don't know if I'm just waiting, wanting to hear from her. Yeah, it's difficult to say. Only that's really only something you you could acknowledge, Donna. I think. What about you, Suzette? What's your take on that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Again, same as you, Kate. It's it's really, um, you know, if it comforts you, 
and it makes sense, um, then fine. And you just have to learn to see which is the difference between what it actually is and maybe your own thought process. But, you know, who knows? Um, it could be happening. Mm. And also, when you think, even like when your mum mums are alive, often my mum feels like it comes out my mouth, you know, like yeah. cause they do. And I think you could take that on, even if it is you thinking it, that is still your mum with you because mm. it's your memories of your mum. It's what you would be maybe thinking that your mum would say to you. Those saying that they so, used to come yeah, out so it would still be with it, still like part of her that's with you still. So, you, I would still take comfort from that because yeah. mm -hmm. it's, it's like when you go back, what would my mum say now? You know, and you could still take comfort from that, even if it is your own voice. Okay? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I dreamt I was eating a curry once and all my teeth were falling out. Oh, I, I, actually, oh, oh, I was eating it. Oh, that's that horrible. You're going to lose friends. Friends. That. Or, or you'll lose faith. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, if I was carrying on eating, yeah. Yeah. they're dropping well, yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And I have to wake up and like, yeah, in the it's really weird. And, and when vanity came in, I used to have the tooth thing, and then it went from the teeth thing to my nails falling off, and I used to have acrylics. And really? suddenly they would just like be gone, and I'd have all these horrible nails underneath. Yeah. Ooh, now it's like they're just cheap. horrible all the time. Oh, anyway, I was greedy. I just kept eating the curry. <laughs> 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 just wouldn't yeah. stop. <laughs> the teeth dreams are horrible. Oh, when horrible you dream dreams. about your teeth falling mm. out, and they're crumbling, and one by one, and yeah, like, more dropping, and more. They're dropping into oh, the food. Do you have the wedding one when you've got some wedding bakers? You went your son, did you? I've had, not had oh, that, had that. <laughs> um, but I've, I had, yeah, actually, I did have wedding ones. Um, but I had, um, yeah, and the, my wedding ones were that nothing, <laughs> we won't be surprised, nothing was organized. Like, oh. <laughs> not that you were late, that was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell people when the date was, I'd forgotten <laughs> to get bridesmaids, I'd forgotten to get the dress, oh, it was all that, all wrapped up, and I had that reoccurring. Yeah, um, not to do it, not when, when I got married, this was late, you know, years yeah, later. Yeah. But I ha I've had dreams where I've forgotten to put my knickers on. Yeah, not, that's not a normal yeah, yeah. night out. <laughs> and, and that part is exposed. And I'm walking around and I'm like, I've got nothing on. Feeling vulnerable, and, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Feeling yeah, exposed, yeah. Feeling getting horrible. Funny out, getting vulnerable. But no, you, yeah. I still have that. Even though I'm married, as if it's... And it's still my wedding. Like, exactly like my wedding day. But like, yeah, it was like 25 years ago. But I have occasion, I have that dream that I'm there. And I'm like, yeah. oh shit, I've put my dress on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's weird. I thought for divorce this week, I tell you. Oh, yeah, brilliant. actually did it, actually brilliant. did it. Um, busy bee, I told friends where they lost their ring and described the room where it was and they found it and asked how I knew the room was set up. They must be, that must be spirit telling. Yeah, definitely, Perfect, yeah. definitely. Okay, right, guys, we're going to go right back to who's joined in with us. So, John, Johnny Boy, are you with us, John? You have 10 seconds to answer. <laughs> oh, this is like your club thing last tick, week. Tick, tick, ah, tick. before we move on, John, are you there? Give us a shout out if you're there. Um, and just uh, just before, while we're waiting for you, John, Chloe says, my daughter who is five spoke about her other mum and dad and brother for years. She described the house and it flooded. She always says, I will tell my other mum who said no. <laughs> wow. Oh, that freaked me out. John, are you with us? Yes, yeah, John. Yeah. John. Yeah. Right, do you want to go for okay. John? Listening to Haley's message. Is them cakes defrosted yet? <laughs> They're up there on the oven. No, no. <laughs> Starving. Oh, um, I feel like there's something spiritual that you're actually holding back on, John. I think, um, I mean, I've heard, is this John that does healing? Yeah. I think there's something else, though, and it feels like it's all going to come together. Like, I'm seeing all the angels, all the colours, all the skills and there's something there um that's like the final touch it's like it's it's all, it's there but that you know there's something else you want to do and it's just that little bit of courage to just go that little step further and you're holding back a little bit and i think it's about being able to find a bit more fun in what you do and that joy and using humor to sort of get a bit of humor in there and um, because i think underneath you can really feel this real strong healing energy but maybe finding a way of putting a bit of fun back into it. And I think that might be what, what you're looking at. I'm, I'm, I'm getting even um, like happiness, like you're doing something with that, like getting that little bit of joy back into things. Um, yeah. And, I, I'm, I'm, oh, and I'm really picking up on a mother energy. Don't, I'm really picking up on something to do with, with your mum. Um, whether she's new or whether she, she's that you're feeling her stronger at the moment, but I feel a real presence with your mum. I'm just assuming she's in spirit. 
spirit um because i'm feeling like i can feel yeah i can feel i have a real strong mum energy um, and i feel that's what she, ah, i think i think i want to share it with you i think she wants to see you having a bit more fun um again and um, and definitely she's that's what i feel it's like you've got it all it's all there you just need to know it and find that joy again john and a bit of happiness it's all there and get out and whatever it, that other thing is that you want to do you just need to push it forward and show it off really and push yourself forward there we go jolly boy okay the next person that was commenting is what did Cheryl last week? Cheryl, are you still with us? Cheryl, are you still there? Anybody, anybody there? Anybody there? Cheryl, are we still there? Welcome, John. Cheryl, going once. <laughs> going I think once. she's gone. Yeah. She was there. Yeah. She's saying good evening. Pardon? It's on there. She's oh. saying good evening. No, that's what from <laughs> earlier. Oh, is it? That's, yeah, I just flagged that up from earlier. But she's yeah. not there. I think if Mum was there, we would have seen some she, more. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Sure okay. Um, Corey. So I shall do you, Corey. Lucky you, Corey. Okay. Are we seeing if she's still there? I'm seeing. Are you still there, <laughs> Corey? Are you still with us? Get straight into it, Corey. Are you still with us? Are you still there? I haven't got to you yet, Sue. Are you still there, Corey? You've got ten seconds. Ten, nine, nine eight, 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 seven. Pace to stay, <laughs> Corey. Are you still there? Five. Oh, you still there, Corey? Three, two, one, gone. Uh, all right, sorry, Corey, who didn't respond. Pays to stay. The next one is Di, Diana. Are you still with us, Diana? <laughs> you went straight into it. Diana, are you still with us? Diana, I think she is. Are you still with us, Diana? <laughs> Okay, there might be a little bit of a delay too. Yeah. I think there is a bit of a delay, but Corey's definitely gone. Um, Diana, mm -hmm. are you still with us? That's my least favourite my production record, that dirty Diana. Is it? Oh, I love yeah, it. I hate it. I love it. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Funny how John, it, takes, get this yeah. thing. it takes a while for us to answer you, I know. Diana, are you still there? Yay! Yay! Okay, and then after Diana, let's get the next person on the roll. Yeah. After Diana, we are going to do who else joined in the chat? Um, after Diana, it will be. Oh, gonna go right back up. It will be. Oh my goodness, uh, Sue, Sue Garner. Um, so you can have. You ask a question, and Sue, you'll be seeing what Brian's card is. And um, you joined in, and then Jem Busy B, because you joined in for us. So, Diana, let's have a look, and then we'll move on to the next ones that joined in the chat. So, Diana, Diana, Diana. Ooh. you've got the rest and recuperation card, Diane. So, what this says is take a bit of time out. This says try and put your feet up, whatever is going through your mind at 100 miles an hour whatever it is that is taking over you and making you feel a bit consumed, then it says just try, it's easier said than done, but it says try and take a step back. Try not to overthink anything, try not to put any more energy into the, anything. Try and take a step back and then you'll start to feel a lot more focused. By taking yourself out of a situation, you'll feel a lot more focused and you'll come back feeling stronger, fully energized and a lot more with it. So if you've got a few days off, this would be good. This card also indicates if you don't rest and recuperate, you could be made to there, particularly with your mind with things at the moment. So try and um, either have a real good girly <coughs> night out, let, let your hair down. You should go out, guys. Let your hair down and just put all your worries to one side or literally put your feet up and just have a spa weekend there. Um, but enjoy the rest and you'll come back feeling fully energised. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sue, Sue Garner, you will probably are still there. I do believe you're still there. You're welcome, Diana. 
Sugana, this one to you. Think of a question. This is your answer, Sue. Answer. Be gentle. Okay, so what is it? There you go. It says, show some compassion, will you? Have a heart and all that. So maybe there's something you need to be dealing with, but that person maybe is feeling a little bit more um, sensitive. So you might need to be perhaps a little bit more compassionate when dealing with the problem or something, because the way that he's holding like a little delicate mouse in his hand, but bless. Quite a compassionate person, though, she said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was just going to say that. Needs maybe, to be yeah. I had a little strong feeling that um, she beat yeah. herself up about something. Mm. As she was talking, like, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah, I had a real strong feeling mm -hmm. as you were picking that up. As if Be it's gentle what, with yourself. Yeah. So, Sue, this is your your question, your answer <laughs> question from Brian. Be gentle. Show some compassion, will you? Have a heart and all that, including yourself. Be gentle and compassionate with yourself. Busy B. That's not even what you said. Yeah, Busy B. Bernadine, yeah. here's your question. Are you still with us, Bernadine? I think you are. Am I going to go? Yeah, go for it. I'm okay, I picked Busy out being. for you an angel card, and it is Archangel Raphael. And it says, the message on it says, I'm helping you heal in physical challenges with yourself and others. You are a healer like me, which I kind of, I don't know you, Busy, but I kind of got that feeling as you were joining in that you seem to be quite a, a healer. I feel I got a white light going around my head, so possibly you are. And maybe you've gone through some uh, crazy physical challenges yourself. So you need to work on healing yourself. And then once you heal yourself, you'll be able to heal others as well. Lovely. <laughs> Chloe Owen, Hayley's going to read for you next. So Bernadine, that was your little message. Thank you so Suzette, much. Oh, Suzette. Uh, are yeah. you doing any, Suzette? Yeah, who have I got? Chloe, Chloe Owens. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so um, just as I um, link in on, on a psychic level here, Chloe, I just feel like um, there's a lot of imbalance um, at the moment, um, and it's almost as if you are the one that needs to control this. So there's, there's an amount of control around here, and it's almost as if everybody is taking everything from you at the moment and there's no give back. So it's all going one way and it's not going your way. So it's about standing your ground. Um, there is something that you're not happy with, with one certain person. So they just make me feel that there's something you're not happy with, one certain person that you need to stand your ground with and actually just say, no, this, this isn't happening. And, and again, I think there's been a bit of a theme here about um, self-care that's running through this. And it was something we were going to talk about tonight, actually, funny enough. So it's about a bit of self-care for you. But also I, I, need, to, um, I need to put a, um, a sunflower down in front of you. So there must be something around a sunflower um, that would be significant um, to you as well. But also I know there's a book that you've been wanting to read because um, I keep taking my mind to a book that's on the side. It's almost as if you need to read it because um, there's something within that story um, that will help things move forward. Chloe, when um, cause I thought it was going to be me doing you, but funnily enough, I've got the justice card um, as well as um, Suzette was doing it. Um, I've just got a really strong feeling that there's, a fear there's something that needs to be communicated and you've got fears of um not being liked when you say it um but i think this is what you might be trying to balance i've got a similar feeling of balancing so you're digesting and balancing but i think when you've owned your own truth and you're coming from the heart i think for you to move on there's something really important that needs that needs to be communicated chloe just to add to suzette's Ooh. That's crazy. That the yeah, strange. Card, As you were saying, that justice <laughs> card come up. I know. Can we get some feedback on that? Can you take any of that that the ladies have said? We have a little look here to see if there's any. Pauline White, you're up next. Are you still with us? <coughs> um. Okay, Chloe. We're just waiting for some feedback from you. But Pauline White, are you with us? 
let's have a little look. Um, I feel like a celebration is coming up around your family calling. Um, I think you've had it's something that you've achieved. Um, I think there's something you should celebrate that you've done really, really well um, as a mum um, for one of your children. Um, so I think it's something you need to um, celebrate and, and really give yourself to help that because I think you've helped them move on a journey. Um, and I think you need to give yourself a really good pat, pat on the back over something because you've caused lots of joy for somebody um, and acknowledge what you what you give as well as, you know, things. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. I like that. Okay. And just um, Chloe's feedback, 100%. Thank you. Councillor said this on my phone today. Keep men meaning to paint my nails. My sister loves sunflowers and was on the top of her coffin. And I've grown one too. Thank you. And yes, I know the person. Wow. Ooh, wow. I love it. So Amazing. Pauline, I miss Pauline's one. So Pauline, it's about celebration as a mum. You need to, you've done something where you've helped one of your children massively on a journey. I um, mean, you need to give yourself a really good um, pat, pat on the back. I think it's been difficult, um, but I think you've, you've got there. Okay, Pauline. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay. Oh my oh God. God. Yes. yes. We love it when it all love comes it. together. Okay. I'm just going to look back to see who joined in the chit chat with us. Um, I know people are asking for readings, but this you need to join in the chit chat and answer some of the questions and, and things as well. Um, okay, I think we may have oh, done God. what's he put? My reading says I need, need more fun, I am no longer entertaining old people at all the magic club. Oh, because he used to do magic. Oh, yeah. 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 And he's been quite isolated with the whole lot. Oh, yeah. so so really I was really feeling that. I was feeling like he yeah. needs to get fun. Like you said, yeah. 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 Fun in his life. Yeah. I don't think that's about him being born. I think it's, you're not. No. It's about giving that out. Yeah. 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 And showing people that's how he is. That's how I felt. That's what I felt like. Even with you um healing for John, I felt, for me, it felt like it was saying, use that energy within that it's good mm. to make people laugh really at the moment um and use that fun side of yourself mm. it's all magic isn't it suzette needs to go and we are coming to the end now we've done all the people that joined in in our little chat chat so thank you very much fabulous people for um for joining in and thank don't forget you. we will be back in two weeks time if you'd like a reading then the you have to join in with the chit chat you have to share like the page but also get yourself involved as well otherwise it just becomes a normal reading show and we don't want to do that because we like to do things a bit we different. like to have a chat so if you want to get a hold of any of us then you can do through the group just message any of us if you want to book a full reading or a hairdressing or face painting <laughs> if you want to get your business off the ground or if you want a counselor or a medium then you know you can contact us <laughs> have a fabulous fabulous all. uh weekend week guys thank you so much for joining us we've loved it again bye -bye. and we're going to say goodbye and we'll see you all in two weeks time bye. see you later bye, -bye. bye, -bye.